Hello, I'm going to do a quick introduction to the difference between hollow objects and solid objects in 3D modeling and for 3D printing and 3D games, to sort of cover the concept of what's the difference between them. So uh, I'm going to be using Lightwave, but this, this will apply to any modeling package and pretty much all 3D modeling. But uh, say we have a sphere here, which is pretty easy to make in Lightwave. Let me just delete this one and remake it. This one's a 5 centimeter radius or diameter ball. Make that here. The way that the 3D model is rendered is via normals, and uh, normals are a really important concept in 3D modeling and rendering. Normals are the way that the polygon is facing in a technical sense, because polygons aren't a 2D, I mean, a 3D object necessarily. They're not, um, they, they're not a solid entity. They're just halves of a shell that you're seeing. So here, all the normals are facing outwards, and if you were to 3D print this shape, technically there's nothing inside. It wouldn't print this, it wouldn't print the uh, shell of this sphere, it would just print the outside shell and then fill the entire inside here with filler material, because uh, there's nothing in here and the printer just has to kind of make up what it thinks needs to be inside of here. So this object would be a solid object, because all of its normals are facing outward and it has nothing inside of it. If you wanted this to be a hollow object, like say you wanted to use less filament or just to actually be a hollow object for whatever purpose, you can copy this external shell, paste it, and shrink it down. And you can see now the normals here are poking out. That means they're still facing towards us technically. So I'm going to press F and invert them. Now all the, in, all the normals inside there are facing towards each other, creating an internal shell. So let me take this shell off for a second. You can see this internal shell in here, covering up, uh, you know, comprising the internals of it. I don't know what the, what would happen if you printed this. It'd be kind of weird, but you can kind of see here we select that. All the normals are facing inwards. So if I put the outer shell around it now, now if we were to print this shape, what the printer should do, I'm assuming, I mean, there might be one that's really weird and requires these to be completely connected or something, but generally it's going to fill in the area between these two shells. So uh, let me kind of see here. You can kind of see the difference. Let me color this outside shell a different color so we can see it. So the filled area is going to be the area between this red shell, or the, this red area that we're seeing pretty much, the area between the red shell and the white shell. And it's going to fill in just that area, leaving sort of a hollow sphere inside. Well, I mean, not now. I mean, if it's printed with them you know, outwards like this, and then has the other one facing internally. And that's how you can control your 3D objects better, is by knowing which way the normals are facing in your program, and knowing where the filament's going to be placed inside that. You're, this is going to require some testing on your own printer, but it'll help you understand the 3D models better, instead of just having, you know, a solid sphere that's being printed by itself you can have more control over it which uh i think this is an important concept for 3d modeling that people need to understand before they start doing printing per se just to kind of save filament and to help you with more complex projects so uh if you guys have ideas for any other videos or anything else you want to see or small projects or anything let me know um i guess i'll see you guys later